side, Colorado Democratic Senator Michael Bennett and Kansas Republican Senator Roger Marshall. Senators, thanks for being here. I know you're at a field hearing in Burlington, Colorado, about costs and the effects of uh, permanent drought on agriculture. I want to talk about the Farm Bill and what you hope to see develop there, but I do want to ask you about a couple other things. First, uh, the border. It's going to be a big issue, immigration, border security, at the debate on Thursday. Both of you have talked at different times about the border in different ways. Senator Marshall, first to you. How do you see it and uh, the concerns you have uh, on the issue? Well, look, you know, back home, even in Kansas, we're not a border state, but we feel like one. We lose a Kansan every day to fentanyl poisoning. This is the top one or two issue is this open southern border. Unfortunately, um, we have the Chinese triad. We, we have the cartel smuggling drugs, smuggling people through Kansas. So this is a huge problem. We need to secure the border. At the same time, we have more jobs than we have people here as well. But we have to secure, secure the border first and then work on a broken immigration system. Senator Bennett, Democrats, and I'm sure the president is going to point to the Senate uh, bipartisan negotiation, a uh, bill that never came to be. You have uh, voted for that effort. Uh, how do you get to common ground on this issue, even around the edges? I, well, I think the common ground around this issue across this country is fairly straightforward, which is the American people don't want chaos at the border. They want to make sure that the border is well maintained, that we've got a system of lawful immigration in this country that makes unlawful immigration uh, unnecessary or less desirable on the part of the people that are coming here, and that recognizes that our rural economy and our urban economy desperately need us to have a functional immigration system. Senator Marshall, what, what are you doing out there, that field hearing? What are you trying to get? I mean, one of the things is rising costs that every, every farmer feels, really every consumer feels. Yeah, well, in addition to Colorado sharing a border with Kansas, we look very much alike. We've shared this same drought for 10 of the last 15 years. Then we have this aquifer underneath us, this aquifer of water. It's a two to 300 foot deep of fresh water. It goes all the way from South Dakota through Nebraska, Kansas, all the way down to Oklahoma and Texas and New Mexico, Colorado, as well as Wyoming. So we're trying to figure out how do we conserve this water because of the drought, we're using the water faster then we can replenish it. We use this water to grow our crops as, as well as to nourish our animals. So we're trying to figure out the best conservation practices. As we put the final touches on a, on a farm bill, we want to make sure we're spending that money wisely and, and, and capture what's working good and get rid of the bad. So we're yeah. out here talking to the producers and seeing what they're doing. Senator Bennett, there's a drought report. Uh, there was severe to extreme drought, about 6% of the contiguous U.S. Um, at the end of May, 13% moderate to extreme drought. Water is a major issue for your region. It is a major issue, and I've been very pleased to have the opportunity to work with Senator Marshall across the political aisle now for years on, on legislation that recognizes that nobody's making any more water. And our farmers and ranchers, who are the best husbands of the land, have to be the ones that are leading the way on things like how we uh, still uh, promote soil health in a world where we're facing this kind of drought, how we produce the kind of crops that are necessary for us to keep food prices low across the country, across the world, and, and make sure that America is a leading exporter. And I think, as Senator Marshall said, there's not a lot that divides us on these issues. You know, th this border between Kansas and Colorado, uh, 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 drought does not recognize that border. Wildfire does not recognize our borders. It's critical for us to yep. find ways to work together to support farmers and ranchers. By the way, just like we did years and years ago when the heart of this part of our country was subjected to the Dust Bowl, we've got to deal with it as seriously as people d dealt with it back then. One other issue of, of common ground is concern about uh, Chinese purchase of, of farmland in the U.S. Here's the FBI director and, and General Jack Keane. It's not that there's anything inherently unlawful about foreign purchase of land, but we get concerned when the purchase uh, the purchaser may have ties back to a government that doesn't share our values. China is, is conducting one of the most comprehensive penetrations of American society in our history. 
buying the farmland close to military bases is part of that strategy. Agriculture land ownership now is at 349,442 acres. New York Post says uh, it's next to 19 U.S. military bases in an alarming threat. Uh, and if you look at the map, uh, it says under the guise of farming, the Chinese landowners could set up reconnaissance sites, install tracking technology, use radar, etc. You both seem concerned uh, about this, Senator Bennett and then Senator Marshall. Thanks. Uh, I'm deeply concerned about it. I introduced a, a bipartisan bill with James Lankford, who is one of the people that negotiated the immigration bill you talked about a couple of years ago, to get our Treasury Department and our Commerce Department to take seriously the Chinese purchase of our land. I have deep concern about, about it, both in terms of its proximity to military bases, but also its integration into our economy as well as a member of the intelligence community or committee. This is something that we're focused on and worried about, and I think we're going to find Republicans and Democrats who can support who can support this effort together and make sure that the American people at least understand the degree to which that Beijing is trying to own our land in a strategic way that helps them, but may not help us. Senator Marshall. Um, look, food security is national security. We take it for granted as Americans, but it is vitally important to our security. That's why we want to elevate the Secretary of Agriculture onto the CFIUS Committee, which evaluates foreign investments. And it goes way beyond the land, though, and agriculture. I'm probably more concerned about the food production. Uh, China owns about a fourth of our pork production, Brazil about a fourth of our beef production as well, the processing part of that food chain. So it goes way beyond yeah. just the land. Very concerned about all this food security is national security. Well, we appreciate you both coming on Common Ground. We'll continue to talk about the things you guys are working on. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Brett. You can see all the Common Ground